so it's Wednesday. Wednesday's like the tech day for me, and I want to take off where we left off on my 6 inch. The 6 inch is still getting the vibrations, but I feel like I'm pretty close with everything. I don't want to make this a long video, but I want to talk to you guys about the steps I'm taking. I feel like I'm close to getting a lot of the jello in my video out of the video, and I just want to let you guys know where I'm at. So, let's get this started. What a lot of you guys probably already know, if you go and tap on your quad like this, you can feel the resonance of vibrations coming into the quad. And the longer arms you go, like I'm flying a six inch, obviously that's gonna be more and more of a vibration issue coming into the actual flight controller. So what I'm trying to do is take as much vibration out of the flight controller as possible. I could let you guys know that I was talking about I used to have like a waggle like this when I was flying on completely stock PIDs. All I did was I made this little mount you can maybe see it. it's a little red mount that the flight controller sits on and I'm working with a couple different like soft mount techniques off of this mount that I made that take away the vibration. So far the one I have I can let you guys know I just put it on to this little mount and didn't change a thing and all the waggles and everything weird that I was getting instantly gone. Yes I still have some jello in my video but instantly gone, and that's without taking any filtering off or anything, it was a lot better already. So, I know that has a lot to do with just vibrations getting into the flight controller, which a lot of you guys may already know. Other thing I'm trying to work with is just getting this footage up here clean. So, the whole thing for me is not just having the flight controller and everything work correctly and be locked in and have a good flying mini quad. I am very very just concerned about always my GoPro footage. I like good videography and I'm just really keen on just having things always try and look as good as they can to me. I know it's always not the best but I like you know the audio is being good, I like the video to be good, things like that and when I see jello in my footage I just don't like it. Personally I don't like it. I know some of you guys are like hey it's okay, not a big deal. I personally don't like it. When I don't like it I have to fix it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've tried some of these TPU mounts that I printed. I thought this would take away a lot of the vibration and things. I know it has done some stuff in the past. I've used the foam wedge to take away some of the vibrations because that's also worked in the past. Nothing seems to be working so far. I'm still getting jello in my footage. I've tried 60 frames per second, 90 frames per second, 1080p, 4K, 2.7K. I've tried all kinds of different things. Um, I'm really just trying to see what works best. And for me, I think what is going to be working best is, for one, making a very good soft-mounted platform. And I know some of you guys have seen some of the standoffs and things like that. And uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to draw this for you guys so you guys get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this alright. So this right here is a flight controller. The little square in the center of it is a gyro. This is the arm and a motor. What happens is most of the vibrations come off the motor and the arm and the frame and they affect this gyro and it goes all crazy and everything. This is what I'm trying to fix. What a lot of you guys are seeing is the little grommet style mounts that go into the holes of each corner of the flight controller. Now this is something that so this is something that I understand. It's, it's kind of like a little mount like this. And these guys work well in a sense of adding vibration. But they don't take anything really away to me what I'm finding out. It helps but not the best. Now if you make a platform the same size as this and then you basically have that as a full on platform going across. This is a side view. This is side. If you have that with even a dampener here and then the flight controller on that, so it's like almost like a double dampening and it's spread across the whole surface, I found out you get a way better soft mount to the flight controller. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a full on soft mount that this lays on top of, if that makes sense to you guys. So this is where I'm at with doing a flight controller soft mount type of deal like this. It seems to be working better than anything else that I tested. And I feel like now where we're at with 
different gyros and firmwares and things like that and filtering and all this stuff, a good soft mount solution has to be found. And I've tried different things and so far this has been the best that I found. And I'm going to keep experimenting with a couple different ways to do it so I can find the cleanest way to set it up and do it for a lot of different builds. So that kind of takes care of the flight controller. I'm still getting Jello into my GoPro camera. Let's talk about that. So, you know, back in the day, which was what, probably only a couple years ago, stuff like the Blackout Mini H Quad and things like that, they had what they call the clean and dirty plate. What the GoPro sat on was the clean plate. It was always something like this, like a cam plate, like the one that kind of goes with this mini quad here. And they would always use these little dampening balls. Uh, the dampening balls have gotten smaller. And I want to do a clean plate that is on this quad, or I've hopefully more and more of the clean plates come back. I know they kind of went away in the past, and everybody's running like the foam and just things like that now. But I feel like, for me, I want like an AP mini quad rig, not as much as like a race like type of rig or anything like that. I do care about a good flying mini quad, but for me it's all about the footage. And I feel like if I could get a clean, like just GoPro footage, I'll be happy. So I'll get a good flying quad, good flying footage, can't be wrong with that. So that's what I want to see come back. And hopefully, you know, maybe you guys could share some thoughts and things like that as well. But one thing I want from you guys is I want to do some Q&As and I know you guys have a lot of questions on the things I'm doing and you're also giving me a lot of advice but I want to do things a little bit different because I know there's so many of you guys that have been uh, just commenting down below and everything in my videos. I will, if you guys can, take a video and I'd rather do my Q&A with a video of you guys asking me the question and I'll splice it into my video and you guys could let me know uh, what you guys want to talk about and everything and I'll put it together in a Q&A video. I think it'll be a little bit more fun for all of us to do that and you guys might have some good questions for me and uh, some advice as well. So you guys can email me those short little videos. Obviously don't make it too long, just make a quick video of it. I'm going to use it for that and yeah, hopefully we can find a solution to this. So that is my little Tech Wednesday. We're still working on things. Try out the full foam or something on the flight controller if you guys are soft mounting and uh, let me know how it goes. So we're going to keep going at this. You guys take it easy. Stay nasty. Peace out.